And we have with us the Grandmaster of all. Without him, teaching ones that I've been with, teaching ones that I do know, without him, I probably would not be possible. Okay, he doesn't even know that. Okay, I'm letting him know that today. We have thoughts on the phone. Grandmaster, Ronald Duncan. A total award that sums up what everybody has to say in society or in the martial art world. This award is tonight given for the first time to one of the greatest men of all. The man who made it possible, the man who went out of his way to bring Ninjitsu to this country of ours. <laughs> Okay, he's not recognized totally for all the things that he has done, which we know people are never recognized unless you're part of the total entity of society. If you do what they want you to do, then you're part of them. If you do what you have to do to help people grow, to become better people, to bring to them something that will make them a better person so that they can cope with problems in life, that also makes the society a lot better. It says, Ayanakos Martial Arts Survival Defense Academies. This is the Warriors Humanitarian Award. It says, presented to the master, Master Ronald Duncan. For years of sacrifice, being the best, yet without the recognition he so richly deserves. His vast knowledge and compatible teaching methods on selfishness, in years of devoted service to us. His, ninja, his ninjutsu contribution to the people of this United States has helped immensely. But this is a way of showing our gratitude and showing him that we do care and we do understand. We do understand that if you go out of your way to help people and give them something they never had before, that somebody somewhere will come forth and thank you for it totally. Tonight, me. My sensei, my warriors, my soldiers, all the different entities within the school, which we have eight. You won't go into that, it's pretty long. But we all thank him, and my family thanks him, and everybody here, family thanks him. Everybody here is great. Even everybody out there is great in their own way. But tonight is the night. Okay. To Xi'an. Basso. Yeah. Rish. Now, for those of you who live in New York, right around Brooklyn, you may not have heard of them. But for the rest of us, sit down. Thank you. For the rest of us who he has touched in many ways, who he has helped, and who he will be helping in the future, we cannot thank him enough. This is also the Warriors Humanitarian Award to presented to Xi'an Rasul for his hard work, compassion, patience.
dedication, understanding, and outstanding accomplishment in teaching martial art to communities or community organization, also in helping the weak, elderly, and the handicapped. For a person who have done and always outdo themselves, there's no word you can put on a plaque to, to describe what you have to say to them. But we try our very best to make it as short and as direct as we possibly can. These awards given the first time in history to anyone. Okay? First. Yeah. 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 They have touched many people. And in the future, they may touch more of you. We have all my teachers here. When they came to me, they came from different academies all over New York or wherever all over the state. And not that the teachers that they had before me was less or greater than myself. We found friendship. We did not steal them away. They wanted to do what they wanted to do at that time. They wanted to learn my iron octopus, so I taught it to them. We have with us someone that I have great respect for, which I have for all the teachers. But we have been close for a long time. We have been through a lot of rough times together. OK, I'm not giving the plaque because we went through rough times. We just said, he's close to me. We have done a lot together. And I know that he has helped in the, the correction facilities. He has helped teach correction officers or volunteer officers. And he has helped, he also taught at the blind school, I think, I'm, I'm possibly sure. He did teach at the blind school while I was in that particular organization. Okay, I was a part of that organization. I was a good friend of his grandmaster. And I used to go to the school and learn what they had to teach me and teach what I know. Okay, we have with us here my chief instructor, which is my brother. We're not from the same mother. Doesn't mean you can't be brothers. Even if we were the same nationality, it means nothing to me. You can be hurt by anybody. So if you found someone that you can love and care for and be treated as a human being, then you'll love him no matter what he looks like or what she looks like or what the color of the skin may be. Okay, it's my brother, Chief Instructor, Jeffrey Pender. Wait! <laughs> He's going to give this award to somebody that is close to all of us. This individual was a sequel. He was a disciple of this organization, which he still is. And he was one of the top students for that particular teacher. Also, we were all like brothers. Okay, I'm gonna give him the pleasure of giving the award to a great individual, Chief Instructor Michael Montano. Hey! This individual is the Chief Instructor of Jason Lau Wing Chun Organization in New York City. Hey, I would like to present this to my sequel. All the great work is done for the Wing Chun martial arts. It's a certain style that Black out in the United States. I've been with him for a while, quite a number of years, and uh, it's been a lot of pleasure to present him with this award. Oh, what's on it, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, it says, presented to, which is the award, uh, award to Chief Instructor Michael Multano in recognition of his outstanding leadership, distinguished service in the martial art, and this is really true.
on tiring efforts. Sir, first. This individual has been thrown out of the school. The landlord said, I don't want you here anymore. And we have to find another place in a couple of days. And he's doing it all by himself. Sir. And we're here to lend an helping hand. We're here, to lend, we're here to lend anything we can to make him as strong as he was before. Which as we know in East New York, the organization was working hand in hand with the police department to help keep that part of Brooklyn nice and clean from drugs so the kids can work a lot better. Okay? I don't know if he's here or not. I knew he was here, I heard, but I don't know where he is, but to uh, we'll just say that so he knows that we're thinking of him and we love him and me and him go back a long way, a long, long way. And he's a very close friend of mine. And whatever happened, I don't know what goes on, I don't know. All I know about is what's gonna be going on for the future. I'm not into anything that's or she say, or I don't know, or who says. I don't care about that. That was yesterday. Let a man be a man. Put it aside and carry on. To Xion Felix Vasquez for his great martial art abilities, compassion, dedication, and willingness to teach a two way martial art and giving himself totally to the young people of today, molding them into great men and women of tomorrow. In his, in his dojo, he has about 200 kids. Kids. And anybody that kids can love so much that they all will come around just to be a part of them, it has to be greatness in them. Right? We'll probably deliver this personally. But, Dion, we love you. There's a person here. We got a few more plaques, and that's it. I'm gonna just get crazy again. There's a person here that we have been together for many years. And I can tell you the truth, I messed it up. I don't usually do that. But I was going through so many different problems and trying to get things organized, trying to keep this school together, and trying to go out and help everybody I can, that I slacken up on being with him as much as possible. So we pull the family apart pretty much so. For this, I wanted to say, so everybody can know, that I love this individual. Without him, this school would not be where it is today. Okay, without him pushing, telling me, hey, go ahead, you can do it. It don't have to be a little storefront. It can be an academy. It don't have to be in your basement anymore. Go out and try. Even though I was trying, sometimes you know you feel like a days ago. You want to just like, I can't do it. Oh, no. I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. I don't make money. So let me just stay here to teach for free. Said, no. I still don't make any money. I put up more than we get. It. But we all sit together as a family and they, they take care of the bills. Yeah. Alright? I just want you to know that. Okay. To Mr. Paul Sagnelli. Close. got it together, that organized it, that got things totally together so that I could go forward and teach as many police officers as I wanted to. And also they back me up so I don't get hurt while I'm walking down the street. So it worked hand in hand, okay, to Mr. Paul Sagnelli for being the first student of mine, first of IODA in that category, for being the first 
whose physical, mental, and financial support. We understand what that means. So I, so I, so I, this is the guy that went, when I couldn't do it, he said, yo, let's, let's go over here and let's try this way. So let's go over there and let's try talk to this guy. Okay? He's made this academy possible. What's up? From me and everybody else here. What's up? What's up? I want to say something. He's saying everything about everybody, and it's not fair, really, to all the great teachers that we have here tonight. I started with Richard because one day as a young police officer on Fulton Street, I figured that I wanted to learn martial arts. Hopefully, by learning martial arts, I maybe would have used my gun as a young yes. cop. And that was my intention. And Mom was sitting back there, Mrs. St. Clair. Laura Rosie and Sharon and Lil Dwayne sit back there. We started this basement probably 1976. Four days out of the week from 6 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock in the morning. Mama and Sunday from 6 until 11 o'clock in the morning. That went on for almost two or three years. And I never had not just a teacher, but a finer friend. And I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. 